Portugal's latest national elections have signaled a dramatic shift in the country's political landscape. The Socialist Party has conceded to the center-right Democratic Alliance, marking a significant move to the right in one of Europe's most liberal countries. Leading to this political upheaval, Portuguese voters voiced demands for solutions to corruption scandals, a housing crisis, high inflation, and low wages. This election disrupts the Socialist Party's dominance, which has held majority power since 2015, challenging them to address these critical concerns. However, the night's biggest surprise came from the far-right Chega Party, which more than doubled its previous support and now controls at least 48 of the 230 seats in the parliament. To deal with a fragmented political landscape and block a coalition that includes the far-right Chega Party, the socialists are choosing to support a minority government led by the center-right. According to analysts, the situation shows how complicated things are in Portugal, with no single party in full control and the far right poised to have a major impact on how the country is governed. Sunday's vote came on the heels of Prime Minister Antonio Costa's resignation in November. The leader of the Socialist Party stepped down amid a corruption investigation into his administration's dealings with lithium mines and hydrogen projects.